everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be covering something related to Twitter, Twitter ads. And in my subsequent videos, I'm going to cover how you can set up Twitter ads, leverage Twitter ads for your business. If you identify Twitter as an ideal place for your target audience. So in this video, I want to show you how you can set up Twitter pixel on your website. I've created, I have videos on Facebook pixel, TikTok pixel, Snapchat pixel already on my channel. If you are yet to watch those videos or you need guidelines to navigate through all those things, you can check out my video. So in this video, I'll be using this website as an example. I want to put Twitter pixel on this website using Google Tag Manager. This is my consulting website. This is my personal consulting website for clients. So I want to put Twitter ads, Twitter pixel on this website. So how can I do that? It's simple. I'll put TikTok pixel on this website using Google Tag Manager. For you to do this, you need to put Google Tag Manager first on your website. I have a video on how you can put Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website or your website, basically. So Google Tag Manager allows you to manage convert your conversion tracking in one place without having to reach out to developers or disturbing developers all the time. With Google Tag Manager, you can do everything all in one place. So this is our Google Tag Manager account. Can you see this is the Google Tag Manager account? If you look at this website, if you look at the Google Tag Assistant Legacy, if you look at this code, this code is also the same code on, on this my Google Tag Manager account, basically. So I have Google Tag Manager set up on my website already. It's easy to put Google Tag Manager on your website. If you want to, if you have a Google Tag Manager account, just click on this. Then you see the code. This is Google Tag Manager code that should go on your website. This will go on the head of your website. And, and this will go on the body of your website, basically. So so let's go to Twitter Ads Manager. This is Google. This is Twitter Ads Manager. This is our Google, Twitter Ads Manager now. So if you want to set up campaigns, set up anything you want to do, you can do it from here. And if you have any campaign, so we want to create a a pixel on Twitter. So let you go to Tools and you go to Events Manager, just like the way it is on Facebook. Click on event manager. If you click on event manager, I already have a pixel. I already have a pixel on, on my website. I already have a pixel created on this. So on this my account. If you don't have any pixel already, all you need to do is to click. If you come to this place and this place is blank, all you need to do is to click on add event source. Then you click on agree. So this is our pixel code. So this is the pixel code we'll be using. So just click on install with, click on install with tag manager. So if you click on install with tag manager, all you need is this code, this pixel ID. You need this pixel ID. So all we need is this pixel ID. You copy this pixel ID. So all you need is just this. You copy this, your pixel ID. Then, then you exit. So let's say we copy this pixel ID. So you generate this pixel ID. This is what we need in our Google Tag Manager instruction. So let's go back to Google Tag Manager. Once you come back with to Google Tag Manager with this your ID, this is our pixel ID. Copy this pixel ID. This is what you need. You go back to Google Tag Manager and you go to templates. If you come to templates, you search for 
you go to tag templates and search for so go to templates let's wait for it to come up then you you type twitter so you you select this you select this twitter base pixel once you select this you add it to your workspace add it to your workspace Once you do that, the next thing you need to do is to click on tags. You come to tags after you do that. You set, you click on new because you want to create a new tag. You can give your tag a name. You give it Twitter pixel because that's the name of the tag you are setting up. Then you click on tag configuration. If you come to tag configuration, scroll down, then you will see that you will see the Twitter base pixel we just installed or we just added to our workspace. So you select it. Then you come here and copy your Twitter pixel ID. Copy your Twitter pixel ID. So you won't paste your Twitter pixel ID here. If you paste it here like this, it will work, but it is not advisable to do that. The reason why it is not advisable to do that is because if you want to set up, maybe you want want to set up conversion tracking on your website using this Twitter pixel, using this this same Twitter pixel, you have to be entering the the ID every time. Because if you want to set up, maybe you want to track purchase on your website now, or you want to track a form on your website using Twitter pixel, using Twitter on because you are running ads on Twitter. You have to be coming here to paste the Twitter ID all the time because it will ask you for the pixel ID. So all you need to do is to create a constant. So you click on this button, you click on this, create a constant. So if you create a constant, this is the built-in constant that I have, but I will delete it so that I can show you how you can do it. So let me go back and show you. You click on this. Then you click on this plus button. So you can give this a name. You can give it Twitter constants. Twitter constants. Right. Then you select this and you scroll to constants. You see constant. Can you see constant under utilities? Put constants there. Then all you need to do next is to just paste the ID there. Once you paste the ID there, you save it. So can you see now? So this will be a constant for anything Twitter you want to do on Google Tag Manager, basically. So the next thing you need to do is to come to Tigreen. And select this, select C green. Like you, you want where do you want this Twitter pixel to fire? That is meaning of trigger. So you select this and you select all pages. And you select all pages. That is page view on all pages. So because the instruction on the Twitter pixel is that it has to fire on all your pages, then you select all pages. Once you do that, you save your pixel, then that's it. So how can you verify that your Twitter pixel is working? So you come to preview, come to this preview here. If you come to preview, you put in your website here, put in your website. This is my website URL and you click on connect. So if you click on connect, since your tag assistant is connected, you go to this. Can you see that our, can you see the tags that fired? Twitter pixel, tags fired. So it means at a pixel that we just set up, can you see the pixel ID constant that we created? What we just set up has worked successfully. So can you see tags fired? So that's how you can set up TikTok on 
Twitter pixel on your website successfully. So the next thing is, once you are able to preview it here and it works, the next thing you need to do is to come back to your tag manager and submit it. Submit what you just set up. If you don't submit it, it will not be live on your website. This is just a preview. This is just a preview to, to ensure that what you set up is working. So once you come back to your website, you click on submit, then you submit and publish it. So let's say we give it Twitter pixel. Then we'll say Twitter pixel setup. Just give it a name. Then you publish what you just set up. So if you don't publish it, it will not go live on your website. Can you see the version? This is version changes that you have on your website, the tags and everything. This is the tags you just published. If you don't publish it, it will not go live on your website. It will not go live on your website. What we did here is just to preview what we just set up. So that's it. Another way you can verify, another way you can verify if your pixel is working is to, is to pixel helper. Just like how we have Facebook pixel helper, we also have Twitter pixel helper. So just type Twitter pixel helper on Google. If you type, so then you go to the Chrome browser, you go to Twitter pixel helper, then you add this. You add it to your website and that's all. So I believe you've been able to gain value in this video. If you are here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to do that. Like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.